Howdy folks, I'm Steve, K5ATA, and ICOM released the new firmware update for the IC705 that has a lot of cool new features, so today we're taking a look at how to install it and what all it involves. So let's check it out today on K5ATA, Caffeinated Radio. As we get started, if y'all would, hit that like button, hit subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you get alerted when we have new content. And if you want to help us support the Padawans, there are several links down below that can help you help us, and we would definitely appreciate it. Okay, this is not going to go too in-depth. This is more like a quick overview of what some of the new features are in this firmware update and how to get that update installed. So let's get into it. All right, so this is the ICOM IC705. This is actually the child unit's radio but today we are going to update the firmware to version 1.2. So there are a few different steps we need to make sure we go through. So you want to make sure that you have a few things. One, obviously the radio. Um, I would go ahead and make sure the battery pack is charged and installed. And then you're going to want to hook it up to a power source, just in case for some reason power goes out or something, you have that battery back up in there to get you through the rest of it. I don't know if it would damage the radio or not, but I would hate to brick the ICOM 705. All right, another thing you're going to need, a micro SD card. The 705 takes a micro size SD card, as you probably already know, and you're going to want to make sure that you format that. Okay, so what you want to do is actually get download the firmware first. So what you want to do is head to icomamerica.com and click resources. Then from here, you're going to click amateur. It's going to bring you down to the amateur section. And it's important to note the 705 is listed in the handheld area because well it's small enough it can be a handheld click there click firmware slash software and you're gonna look and see the most current version of the firmware is version 1.2 click that and then you're gonna scroll down click that you've read all that stuff and download it and you'll see it's downloading down there behind me. And while that finishes up, while that finishes up, let's take a look at what we can expect from this version. So it says changes from version 1.12. Um, a scroll mode that seamlessly change that can seamlessly change the displaying scope range depending on the operating frequency. A pop-up screen that displays when span or edge change is added. A number of fixed edge memories is expanded to four. A uh, preset function is added for FT8. A preset function that um, that can set each operation is added. Then it has a note here. The default setting for the preset function are for FT8 operation. If your digital software doesn't support the 705, change to an ICOM transceiver CIV address and, um, that the software supports. For example, when selecting the 9700 in the software, set the CIV address in the 705 to A2, which is the IC9700 CIV address. <clears throat> um, says the AH705 tu automatic tuner can be used. An antenna tuner selecting item is added to the set mode. A tune memory setting and a tune memory clear function is added. When tuner on the function screen is touched, tuning starts. Then you have a wireless LAN access point mode is added. A front key customization function that can change the function of Vox break-in and auto-tune is added. Tuner is added to the remote mic key function. If you or you can set two voice memories, T1 and T2, and two keyer memories, M1 and M2, in the IC705 firmware version. Um, in firmware version 1.2, the number of voice key memories and ready memories is increased to four in each mode so that went up each bank of memories is automatically selected according to the operating mode for example when operating in SSB the voice memory bank is automatically selected um, looks like it changed the format for Latin long um, while operating in data mode the received tone control is deactivated a menu item that can return to normal mode is added in the quick menu of terminal mode and access point mode and improves the saving of the battery pack confirmation setting. 
Note, when the firmware is updated, the battery pack selection returns to the default setting of off. It has a link there. And when you click it, it takes you to the firmware update information. And let's see what's there. While I take a swig of Joe. And here is where it shows us how to use some of the new fancy schmancy features that are in here. So that's handy. So you want to make sure you go ahead and click that and download it as well. It's an Acrobat file, so I'm just going to save it. And you didn't see that, but it's for some reason it popped up on the other monitor. But it's saved back there behind me. So now I have that file saved on my computer. Okay, now that that's downloaded, let's head to the radio. All right, here we are with the 705. and I had to look for where I stashed my SD card and the SD card. You'll notice it is plugged in and it's charging. And insert the SD card into the radio like so. And just you're going to push it down until it clicks and it stays in there. Power it up. Okay, so to format the SD card, one thing to point out, and I, I ran into a little issue there. Um, if you have too large of an SD card, this won't work. For example, I had an, a 64 gig SD card in there, and it wouldn't format. So you need to make sure, I think it's 32 and under that this thing supports. So make sure that your SD card is 32 and under. If you're clicking the format button and it's not formatting, like I'm about to show you, that may be your problem, so check that. All right, so we're going to hit menu. Then we're going to hit set. Then you're going to scroll down. You'll see it's actually on the third page. And go down to SD card. You could just tap it. And you're going to hit format. It's going to bring up this little warning. Say yes. And if you don't see that bar run across, then it may just be that your SD card is too large. Try a smaller one and see if that does the trick. It did for me. Okay, next up, let's head to the computer. Okay, and then you want to insert the SD card into your PC or Mac if you're one of those kind of people. Okay, so it downloaded here, and you can see I downloaded it yesterday, last night as well. Um, this is the download that we just did to show you how to download it. So we're going to take this file we're going to want to extract, depending on what extractor you use, this may work a little bit more or a little differently. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Extract All. Okay, and from here, hit Browse. And we're going to scroll to your USB drive. You see it's got a folder in here for IC705. And I'm just going to select it to have it extract there in that main IC705 directory. Next, we are going to take the SD card out and put it back in the radio and do the upgrade. Okay, so looking at the 705, we're going to click menu, then we're going to click set, SD card, firmware update, yes we agree, yes we agree, yes we agree, and hold that. Now you'll see it's checking the file. It says it's updating the main CPU firmware and it's giving us a 22 second count or 25 second countdown. It says it's completed, it's restarting. And you can see we're at 1.20 and you can see the call sign and stuff information is no longer in there because it did wipe the memories. So that's not a big deal for us. It's just her call sign and stuff that's in, but we're going to get that taken care of. Okay, so we just hooked up an antenna to the 705, and let's see what she looks like. Okay, so one of the big things that has been updated is 
there are some improvements to the spectrum scope. So if your scope's not already visible, hit menu and then hit scope and make sure that it's pulled up. And then if you hit the, kind of gotta, let me get my pen here, center so this fixed spot for a second. Okay, you'll see it turned on this little green. Let me see if I can get a better light on there. Not really. Okay. It said scroll it says scroll dash F. Scroll dash F is it's in the fixed mode. If you hit center fix again, you go to center. You want to do that again, you can hit now it's scroll dash C. Okay, and with your 705 in scroll dash C mode, okay, you can just change the span. Oops, let me get that straight for you. You can change the span of your scope just by hitting span. And you'll see now it's at plus, plus or minus 250. And you can see we've got from 14.1 to 14.5. And this is in the center, obviously. Click it again. Plus or minus 500. Click it again. And you can really get it down there to plus or minus 2.5. And you can still tune around in here. So if you're trying to find, you see, whoa, it was fast. If you're trying to find that frequency in there, and you can also still touch it and go to a spot. Okay, so that's one of the really cool functions that that's been added. The next one is when it's in fixed mode. So let's take a look at that. Okay, and with it in fixed mode, we can do the same thing. We can. And then we can set our edges. Okay, so the spectrum scope stuff is pretty cool, but that's not all that's here. We also have, if you look, we now have the preset option here. It's on the second page of your menu. So when you hit menu, hit that, and you can see you can set up some presets. So it's got FT8 already in there. Just hit yes. You can unload it if you want to. Go back to normal. And so you can have different presets all set up in here and that's really easy to get set up and it's really easy to access that's another cool thing in this turn it down it's another cool thing in this firmware upgrade so let's see what else we got okay and so let's see how to actually record our own presets so we hit here and we want to edit the preset memory we're going to click a mode and over here we can tell it what mode we want Let's see, let's go down to CW, because you can preset it to use a filter. Scroll all the way down, you can preset all of these. If you want to change your, any of these guys, you can. And when you get all the way to the bottom, just gonna click right. It's gonna say, Are you sure you wanna write this? Yes, I am. Of course, I didn't name it, so I probably should have named it. Here, we're gonna name it C, oops, CW, enter. And then you go back down through there. And then, same thing, scroll it to the bottom. Until, yes, I wanna write. And you can see now I have CW preset in there. It's a piece of cake. And it's easy to swap between them. You just unload your normal. Want to load your CW. Boom. All your stuff is ready to go. This is pretty awesome. And you don't, it, you actually don't have to unload it. Um, you can just hot swap them, I guess, just going back and forth. I didn't realize that. That's pretty cool. All right. Another thing I want to go ahead and show you. You can change the preset buttons down here on the 705 screen. Okay, so in order to customize the front panel, you can change the Vox to break in the, and the auto tune. So in order to do that, you're just going to hit menu, set, function, front key, customize. And we'll show you how to do that in a second. And these are all of the different options here that you can put in there. And it kind of gives you a description. I'm not going to read through all of these. If you downloaded that um, information file on the 705 upgrade, firmware upgrade, you'll have this in there. 
So you'll want to make sure that you look through here and make sure you decide which ones you want to keep. Okay, so to customize the front panel, we're going to, let me go back here. Okay, from the main screen, we're going to hit menu, set, function, and you're going to scroll until you see front key customize. Okay, and it's on the ninth screen. Hit that, and here is where you can customize some of the ones that you want. Okay, so for example, if I don't want that one here, I can hit that, and I can change it. If I want to change that to tuner, to whatever it is I want to change it to, I can. And to do that, you just hit it, and you can see now it's changed its function to be the noise blanker. So no matter which one, which way you want to do it, it's kind of cool. You can do that, which is which is nice. Okay, and one last thing is the optional AH705 antenna tuner can also match the IC705 to a long wire antenna. Um, this is another thing that was added into this firmware, and you can give you can see I don't have an AH705 tuner, so. I can't really show you exactly how to do all this. I'm just going to point out that it's here. So if you do have one, you want to make sure you check this section out as well. You can set it so that um, the tune function activates, the, or the PTT function rather, activates the tuning function. And it's just different menu settings. You can turn it on and off. Like I said, I don't have one. If I get my hands on an AH705 tuner, I'll certainly do a video on how to how to use that as well. Alright folks, and that's that. There's some really cool additions with the ICOM 705 firmware upgrade version 1.2. Um, some of them we were able to take a look at. Some of them, like I said, I don't have the antenna tuner. I'd love to take a look at it at a later date. But either way, it's not a complicated process to get the firmware updated. So go ahead, update it today. Y'all, thanks for watching. Hope to see you on the air. 7-3.